welcome to part 2 of this tutorial now we'll make uh, windows and doors i'll take a rectangle and i'll just maximize my viewport it's all w i'll say snap i'll take this corner outer corner one I'll say start new shape off i'll say two Euro as well. So I'll go to modify. I'll say extrude. Say snap off by pressing S. I'll just say only shaded, realistic to shaded. Just make a little bit forward like this, and this should be shifted backward. So I'll select the spline. fine now I'll select the bigger path this wall and go to compound object before doing comp before doing boolean actually I'll I'll always save it so I'll say save so many times when we do boolean there are chances to get hang up and we uh, will not respond it so I'll say pick operand B and click. So this is what we have done the boolean and we'll jump to first and second flow. Go to AutoCAD. I'll unhide all those layers. Now this is first and second flow. First floor has open balcony and uh, second floor has a small balcony so here it is this is the first floor's open balcony and second floor small balcony so we don't want this arrow this will be by layer oh, this will be by layer in the same case i can delete it off like this this is because these are all mirror can delete all those things because we don't need it and if you don't need it 3d max you can always delete it off because in 3d softwares when you work always make sure you are giving less strain to your viewport and calculations so there will be a much more faster workflow will be there always just don't want it until delete it off same way we want continue walls as of we did it in ground floor I just say trim TR So same problem is over here, the wall, I'll take a line, say fill it, so I'll mirror this MI. trim TR. I'll make another layer. 
say wall 3d wall 3d say first say current change the color say bo is boundary stamp again i'll make new layer i'll say 3d say flooring fl rng flooring underscore f i r s t first say current say b o I'll go to layers and one by one I'll take so first I'll make this one say invert selection say control s go to 3d max say import so this is the plan I'll just press s on the keyboard that is a snapping and take a space bar for lock so to front so take rectangle six point nine forty five six two six point nine same thing we'll do for windows of the boolean uh, what we have done for the ground floor so now we'll start making uh, railing for it just take rectangle snap till here First of all, select the plan and it's not done this. So we'll say free selection. The one thing is there. What I'll do is I don't want to say this now. I click say hide. Now it's clear. Just start new shape off. So if you do this we can avoid the boolean which is the most dangerous part because how how to reduce the file size and uh, how to make your work flow fast uh, it's always depend upon which technique we are using so now this is done I'll go to extrude So it will be to 30, we'll say 150. Point 150. So now I can slide this. I'll say S on my keyboard and space bar. So I'll lock this. If you see as pressing a space bar, 
it gets a lock so this is this will not move click on vertex this should be perfect see off so now i'll just rotate it for this way and press shift and rotate now i'll press s on my keyboard space bar to snap so for this we have to go to perspective go to shade it to modify what text so go to modify just select the spline we don't want this inside it say did it and select the vertex all vertex and say right click and say corner what happened when we do the corner i'll do the control z when we select those vertex and when we overlap it there are chances that it will not behave properly so this is a very good practice uh we do it we select the vertex and say corner so this is a very safe thing to do so i'll say the yeah or say end point the same thing we can duplicate it no just unhide it unhide by name so i will do the boolean of the first and second floor take a rectangle and press s on my keyboard that is a snap this is one smart shape start shape off two three four now the same thing i can duplicate it I'll press s on keyboard to off the snap press shift drag say copy press s and say space bar so i'll just move and keep it over here now i'll say x on before that uh so uh, this is different spline this is different spline for that we have to attach it so i'll click on attach and say attach now the first and second are attached i'll say extrude go to top I'll increase the amount of extrude just keep it over here selecting the big area first then i'll go to compound objects and say boolean speak operand b and 
डन गो टू फ्रंट क्लिक राइट क्लिक सो यू विल बी आउट ऑफ दैट बुलियन नाउ आई टेक अ रेक्टेंगल स्टार्ट न्यू शेप ऑफ वन टू थ्री फोर से मॉडिफाई एक्सट्रूड check it on perspective so now we have to fit the glass here again i'm going to front view i'll take a plane take a plane say one two three and we don't want plane over there and selecting the plane we don't want so much of vertex so I'll say 2 and 2 i never use more more segments in uh, standard objects like if you don't want don't use that much of segments so always small things matters in big renderings and big uh, work so make a habit to do in that way so press perspective for p and say zoom now click the pick up one and slightly i can move it so it will be something like this selecting the whole thing say group move from top now the we have to fit perfectly on it i'll press s on my keyboard and space bar so now this is it in next part we'll do uh, the windows uh, and stairs everything what is the left out and we'll mirror mirror the stairs as well so thanks for watching my tutorial if you like my lecture do subscribe my channel that is key frames online and do let me know what kind of tutorial do you want so i'll make for you thank you